Wei Tu and Yapso are rotating towards mid is really going to do much to interrupt his farm. And I feel like that in of itself is scary because this guy, he's been playing some phenomenal games. Uh, the shots are already three heroes trapped on the wrong side of it. There's going to be the wave here from Beaver now, but the damage here from the side of Vega bringing him incredibly low. One more rocket was needed, but he can't quite get it in. He's going to be able to stab himself with a high ground. Right strike right onto two. He absolutely moving in with the iron shell as well, trying to chase him down. No one's hitting around with the race, but to be solo getting low. Who will pop us out, but he has popped himself. First put there to the side of Mojang Green Fighters. Can they find Mag as well? Demon's trying to chase him down in Mag. We'll pop us out. You can see the Slayer now caught between two of them. Have a body block from Demi. Just stands there on the stairs. Says you shall not pass. A second kill for Monkey Freedom Fighters and uh, a very favorable bounty room fight. But at the same time, uh, the Iron Shell is going to be a bit of a hindrance as he tries to fall. You still gotta be careful though, they do have kill potential on this team, man. Oh, okay, okay, there's the crush onto the Dark Series where they've got to chase them beautifully. Light Strike right coming out as well, we'll finally get the surge out. They'll get the kill onto Dark Series, but they do lose their position on Slada in the turn. So, level 7, which means if he casually walks back there after picking up the rune to go take his stack, that is a DD. -D. I mean, I'm not okay. saying he's gonna go back there right now, I could just go bottom. Yabzo's in a lot of trouble, the four heroes here closing oh in on him. I, this, God yes. bless you, Night Stalker. Goodbye. Night Night. Well, that does mean that Jimmy is going to be able to get all this stack and top right. as well. Yeah, in we go with the blade here. The little snowball coming out to buy them some time. It's going to go straight through as the creep. Sing Sing trying to get the slashes in. Purple Bull's coming out as well. And uh, he's trapped in the field here. They look to find Mac, who turn around with the shards. Gets Sing low in the lead. Oh, oh, so they're coming in with the rotation. Five what? Points. And he's going to find himself a second one in Nightmare. Step of the right track. Great. will take down the disruptor. And meanwhile, we got a Dark Seer dying. Arise does find a clean kill on PSF. And, uh, action going off left, right, and center. He ends up getting something for his death, but that puts a rise pretty damn close to his blink dagger. This top lane, Andy. Three heroes on both oh, sides. It's going down. Right wants to go with the slash. There's going to be a snowball coming out yeah, first. On to Yapsaw. They're going to move forward. The light strike catching on to the Yapsaw. Nice job. He turns around with the board. Now with the blade pure from Sing Sing. Now pick up the kill onto Tusk. They do lose your NS here. Seema's trying to find way to. Romney Slash comes out. Makes short work here of the leader. Seema with a killing spree as he was able to end the life of Disruptor. So it should be a two for two there. But the move from the boys on the side of Vague. Seema looking for the wrap ring. He might actually catch a rise at his own game here. If he has yeah, the right way. Oh, uh, his eyes. Oh, okay, straight out with the RP. There's three heroes here as well. And even though there's two supports on the side. Oh, yeah, oh, oh gets it. Oh, the oh, oh, light strike as well. He's still alive. The Laguna onto Yamsu. Yamsu's going to get himself the hell out. He's only trying to get the right consistent. He's going to get another grip from Seema. They play it absolutely beautifully. The wall is so low here to wait to. But Seema's just going to be able to force back the Disruptor. We are going to have a little pause. Yeah. There's four I mean, heroes on Vega ready to kill him. The safest way to kill, I think, in that situation is just to, to shard, to stop blink, force him to skewer. Okay, Pasha? Pasha, this? There's a lot of heroes here, man. Yeah. That, that ain't your base? Dude, he's making space right now, though. Look at this. Look this at space creation. This is a player here. Oh, oh my no. God. Get, nah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if he got out of that one. If he tried switch to strength. Probably equal terms on late game, I feel, for Vega. A lot of it's going to be down to a rise. Oh, look at Coming in with a thunder strike. This backup as well. Sing Sing has got the only stats. He's going to use it straight away here. The blade here to follow up the sprint. We must be trying to get himself out of there, but there's a glimpse. Pull it back straight under the wall as well as Demon drops that. Jimmy. That's uh, going to be Tusk Glimpse back away from the tower there. Did CP in them back to the top lane for him. And that's going to be a free tower here. And then for the side of Sing Stack, there's going to be people coming in with the reactions though. Can they try and fight? Sing Sing's got healing He's ready to go. Straight in with the kinetic film and the static storm. With a fuse cross there from Seema holding Sing Sing in place. The damage isn't going through there because of the blade fury. And now they just turn nice. the RP for us on to two. The foul one with a light truck around to three. The Laguna Man is giving another Requiem. Running up Sing Sing and the boys. Peter Light goes down as well. It's a two for two so far. Arise tries to get out. Ruby has to get a successful team. He won't do, but for a TV that cancels it as he sees Solo closing in on him. There's a 2 for 2 at the moment, we'll get the glimpse back onto the Lino as well. So that is going to be that. So, a position 1 and... Alright. Uh, Solo gonna die? I think Yapsor goes for this now. Yeah, he definitely does. Oh, All right, Solo, you oh, gotta Solo. realize it, man. Solo! Your health is going Guys. down! I'm dying! I'm dying! <laughs> the pings come out, he says, what's going on? He's just got the absorbed. He's just got the absorbed. 30 seconds down, they might get the kill in return. They've got any amplifier now with a snowball falling through as well. 
Oh, we'll find the stun. We can drop by Jimmy, and Jimmy will drag Mag back in with the back in. The Absol is still over the Tommy, but there's your Phoenix Grid now. Holding the Absol in place, but we'll get a nice talkie kill. And we'll uh, just get themselves out here. It looks like we are seeing a rotation in from Horizon way too. They don't have RP. Now, this is just gonna, okay, now that's we'll that's literally just that. came off cooldown then, Horizon brings it in. And we'll be able to find the pickup onto the touch. So they do get themselves an extra kill in return for losing the Night Stalker. That's right, so if you have equal farm to Vega right now, I think you're feeling fairly comfortable. As long as you keep landing those RPs, keep getting some decent static storms going for yourself. Oh, hey, that skew onto from no one! Beautifully placed by Rise. They went out the fire, damage to kill him, and now the snowball coming out. They might just try and fight this, they'll be able to even bring the blade on top even that, but he gets the only slash off though. The soon decrease though, he wants to play field and keep himself alive. As he goes back in for the kill on no one, the Rise strikes nice onto two. With the follow up, they do find the kill onto Demon. But a one for one, and another one for one that MFF are going to be very happy with. They get the deny in the tower, and they get the kill onto no one on the SF. They might even get more. Glimpse down to Mag, bringing him back into the party ring. He's silenced up, but he's going to get bored down as well. And Monkey Freedom Fighters stepping it up, skew onto Solo the game, and the fight's not over yet. Well, the Yule set to turn around with a stun as well. Miss. There is backup as well. They've got a Fuse Grip on Bane, but they can't quite catch anyone out. MFF playing it safe. Rice does have that RP available here. And shelling him up, ready for the initiation. And there are five heroes on the side of Vega here. It's going to be a hard one to fight. Back up now, and there's your initiation. Oh, yes. he's quite fine. The scope of now the return. As Pasha comes with the blink, the crush of Joy, the light track as well. That's the Magnus down. Oh, it's a lovely one. It's a lovely kinetic field. But he's just not like his up because he's going to buy back in from a rise. Since he's trying to move on to Mad, the Requiem now coming off of no one. And the back of the fight, trying to clean up the nation. Only Sash was sing sing. And he's going to do it. He gets the kill onto no one on the Shadow Fiend. It's a double kill for Jimmy. And a beautiful move. And Solo is going to get killed. Like, what a fight for MFF. It didn't look great at the beginning. They risked the skill initiation. There was a jump in from Pasha. And somehow, Sing Sing with a beautiful Omni Slash saved just for the Shadow Fiend. Yes. Damage. Did that Static Storm deal to the entirety of Vega when they were caught outside of it? Because I think it was, what, three heroes? I think it was four, not? Because the Bane was as well. Yeah, like, Sima just died, right? Like, he couldn't do anything. Of course, this does mean that MFS going to be able to secure Roshan. Okay, they really think about... Do you want to do this? Oh, with the RP as well! Mark and Pasha! Standing on the cliff, holding hands! Wasn't the place to be! Alright, this game is completely out. Uh, this is being stepped up and Yapso's not done. He's moving in, looking for Seema, and he's got the silence for as well. Sing Sing's coming through as well, he's getting powered up. He wants to take the kill. That'll be the mech here from the SF, but now the blink field for Arise. Turns around for a quick shot wave. Seema's gonna get taken down. They've got the Nightman now with a stun into Arise, but I don't think it matters. They've only got two lures in the pitch at the moment, and no one. He's got a BKB and run! And even with the BKB, I might find it! Sing Sing just starts to fight here with the right clicks. Arise has got the blink available and the four stops if he wants to continue to fight. And here we go! Four stops across, there's your oh blink. No one tries to fight for the true up, but now the scanning some of the kinetic field as well! On to two! No one gets taken down, they're gonna fight Solo here as well, almost certainly! That's gonna be another kill here! Solo to four! And Monkey Freedom Fight is just walking all over Vega at this point of the game, 21 minutes in. They need to get together as more than just two or three heroes and stop trying to take Skirm and you have no counterplay because you don't have ghosts, you don't have Yules, you don't have any way of mitigating that damage outside of just sheer oh, health armor. He really wants to go for an RP here. He really wants it, he's gonna strike for it. Only catches Mag though, but Mag in a lot of trouble now. Brought back, they get the fish from onto Rise, Pasha just get the crush off, but now oh, oh, the back of Jimmy doing it for the boys. People don't go far with the blade through, fires the kill onto Tuss. There's the BKB for now when he's trying to turn around and punch you. The amplifier's onto Sing Sing. They still have all five allowing on the side of MFF. And they might be ready to just turn and bring Pasha in if that's favorable. And Sima, living life on the edge over here. Gonna get spotted out. But looks like the gem, Aghanim's Night Stalker, is gonna start. Oh, the here. double line shall run down here onto Pasha. My lord. This is like oh. the poorest safe line starter I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. The episode needs to be leading, though. He's in the back. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, they're waiting for him. Oh, no is he gonna tank this? He's gonna put the BKB straight away now. That's where the punch is. No, oh, it's gosh. Gosh. Shown to two, and they're up for the record as well. They will get nice. it. Nobody's actually come out here from Sing Sing. They've already got the rise. Rise right, by right, right. straight away. Demon's getting away. He's gonna be taken. That's a triple kill for no one. Now with a lot of trouble to be even on Sing Sing's in a lot of trouble. He's got one two by his side. The great fury enough to try and get himself out of here. The question is, will they be happy with just that? It looks like they will. They lost the SF at the end of that. But the fact that no one was able to pick up a triple kill before he died. Coming out here by the Roshan pit, both teams. 
Realizing this is pretty much going to be the defining fight here. Singson goes in, just get amplified over, Blade Fury it off. No. Hello, Bruce. Get the things back onto Cena, right. but this isn't really the fight for Way 2 to be in on the front lines. We're going to keep it. Nice. You're for the rise. The snowball's there in reaction. You can't save him. He's dead. This man. He's a dead man. Mac. Out of the game for 50 seconds. Demon thinking forward. Gets a vacuum onto two. Only two coming forward as well. Static storms down to Solo. They put the knights on here, trying to chase down the lean and no one trying to move himself in. Solo wheels himself up. Now Pashi Bashi with the step. He's gonna get your eyes back. RP coming out to no one. And no one did get the BKB off in time. Demon's getting himself out of there. No one looking for the opening. Can't break it out. We'll finally do so. But you're also going for his life. The Sing Sing kicks him a triple kill. Now I'm gonna show back with the knife. Pashi Bashi. Demon over the old school. Is this gonna be a lap push? Here's the Sing Sing. He's looking for Pashi. Yes, he can! One major with that GG is cool! Monkey Freedom Fighters taking game one in a series that a lot of people wouldn't have expected them to do so. What an ending to the game, Andy, and they said, oh, the what the heck? Oh, that's a Magnus Bandix game. Yep. Yeah, that is definitely a Magnus Bandix Pick game. 100%. Magnus win the game, it's what Harney said. Harney was right? Harney was right. Harney well, was absolutely bang on. I think a lot of games, even if.